Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Gay. I'm your host Connie, and today we are here with my blind reaction to episode 7 of Total Drama Island 2023. Last time we had a kiss, and it was a very beautiful, well worked up to kiss. I don't know how much I talked about it last time, but the pacing, like building up this relationship between Bowie and Raj has actually been extremely well done. Um, it, it, it's really been paced well to where it doesn't feel like it's going too fast, but also doesn't feel like it's going too slow. Um, it, it's, it's just working. Um, and the added part of Bowie being out and proud while Raj is still closeted and everything adds a lot more to it and makes it even better than it otherwise was. And it was great as it was. Um, <sighs> excuse me. Uh, but the correct person still hasn't gone home because of course not. You have to have that drama on the show. It's called total drama for a reason. It's just, it's, it's annoying, <laughs> especially because Lauren went home. God damn it. I'm still upset about that. I'm not gonna get over that. Um, again, even though I knew she wasn't gonna make it just like I knew the Goths weren't gonna make it all the way to the end in uh, Redonkulous Race, it's like, still my favorite characters, you know? It's like, I'm still going to want to see them win, even if I know it's not gonna happen. I wanna see them get a little further, at least. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what comes next, so let's just get into this. When the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then it fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, he specifically said no eliminations this week, but two campers are heading home. I understand they're going to the hospital and everything, but does that mean they're out of the competition? I, I, I genuinely don't know. And, and it's entirely because of the way that he worded it. Like... That was my thought, but then he said there was no elimination, and it's like, ugh. I don't know. I don't, I, I just don't know. Um, but yeah, that, that also kind of sucks, because that means we won't get more uh, Raj and Bowie stuff. But at least we've already seen Raj uh, finally come out to Bo or to Wayne. And Bowie has already said, it's like, this is we're, this competition is going to get in the way of things, but after this is all over, let's go on a date. So it's like, he already has a date planned with Bowie. So, hey, there's a big positive there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, I don't know if this, is, if this counts as elimination, because he basically said it wasn't an elimination. So I don't know. I don't know, because in in, in, um, in Redonkulous Race, uh, one of the teams I liked, I cannot remember the, their names right now, but the, the the best friends who ended up becoming boyfriend and girlfriend at the end, um, they uh, they were only because uh, the guy was got got exceptionally injured. They were eliminated uh, because of that, rather than you know just regular elimination. So, it, it seems to be a similar kind of thing here, where Wayne and Raj are eliminated because of factors outside of their control, rather than, you know, actual elimination. But I don't know if that's the case. Like, will they be allowed to come back after they're better, like, if they get better in time? I don't know. I just, I just don't know at this point. Um... There's really not much else I, I have to talk about um, with this episode. Um, the Millie and Priya thing was really fucking funny. 
Like, I just, I just lost it at that. And again, it was entirely the timing and the, and the performance of the voice actress. Um, just the way it's like, oh, she helped me get here and everything. She was the one who did all this work. She should win the immunity. And, and then Priya's like, no, but you're my best friend. You should have the immunity. And then it's like, just instantly, uh, Millie's like, okay. And it's just like, just the way she said it, the, 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 the timing of which she said it, and especially um, Priya's rea confused reaction to that, because obviously she was expecting it to go back and forth. Um, it, was, it was just so goddamn funny. It was so goddamn funny. Like, I can't fully explain why, but it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, once again, I guess if you're if this does count as elimination, one of the people who deserved to go home didn't. Also, I, I will briefly touch on uh, Emma getting back together with her ex and everything. I I hate that. <laughs> I like how they even acknowledge that in the uh in the elimination ceremony with chef it's like you two have gone back together not many around here care about that <laughs> it's like it's like they're acknowledging that it's like that's yeah we don't like that <laughs> because it's like she misunderstood things that were going on and, and things that he said and she thought he apologized for cutting her brakes on when he, that was not what was going on um, and it's like, Jesus. Oh, I hate that this is happening. It's like, she got out of this toxic relationship. And it's very clear that she was, like, very strong with being out of it. And was re really, like, just in a better place. And then because of, like, one small thing, she goes back into it just like that. It's just like... Bowie said something about, like, after scraping off the mess from your shoe you don't step right back in the poop or something like that it, it's it's like yeah it's you're you're putting yourself right back into the same toxic situation you were in before who knows what kind of horrible shit he's going to do to you this time like he might get her eliminated uh but speaking of like there are no more teams everybody's just on the same team um has total drama done that before i don't remember um, I know shows like Hell's Kitchen does that, um, where it's like, okay, we have the red team and the blue team, and then after a certain amount of time, there's just so few left that you converge them into the black team. Like, I, I've seen Hell's Kitchen enough, I know how that all works. Um, but yeah, with this, I guess I just wasn't really expecting it. <laughs> Um, for them to be converged into one team. That's going to make uh, the dynamics of the gameplay and whatnot very different with only one contestant receiving immunity each week instead of, like, an entire team. Um, so it's definitely going to be really interesting going forward, especially seeing what kinds of challenges there continue to be. Oh. <sighs> but we'll see how it goes. So tell me in the comments below, what did you think of this episode of Total Drama Island 2023? And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.